felt a great disturbance in the force, as if millions of voices suddenly cried out in terror and were suddenly silenced. I fear something terrible has happened. You also uh, met Dean, didn't you, James Well, Dean? my f very first night in Hollywood, I met James Dean. It was a very, very odd uh, occurrence. Um, I'd arrived off the plane. Those were, you know, it took a long time in those days, about 16 hours flight. And um, I'd been met by Grace Kelly and various people, but I found that I was alone for myself for the evening. And uh, a woman I knew phoned up and said, let me take you out to dinner. And we went to various places, and she was wearing trousers, and they wouldn't let her in any of the smart Hollywood restaurants. Thank you, you know, whatever it was, 1952, 54, or something like that. However, we finally went to a little Italian dive, and that was full. And so one got turned away. I said, I honestly, I don't mind just a hamburger anyway. I was hungry by then. And then I heard feet running down the street, and it was James Dean. And he said, I was in that restaurant, you couldn't get a table. And my name's James Dean. He said, will you come and join me? So we said, yes, very kind of him. And then going back into the restaurant, he said, oh, before we go in, I must show you something. Um, I've just got a new car. And there in the courtyard of this uh, little restaurant was a, I don't know what the car was, some little silver, very smart thing, all done up in cellophane with a bunch of roses tied to its bonnet. Uh, and I said, how fast do you, can you drive in this? He said, oh, I can do 150 in it. And I said, have you driven it? He said, no, I've never been in it at all. And some strange thing came over me, some almost different voice. And I said, look, I won't join your table unless you want me to, but I must say something. Please do not get into that car, because if you do, and I looked at my watch, and I said, if you get into that car at all, it's now Thursday, whatever the date was, uh, 10 o'clock at night, and by 10 o'clock at night, next Thursday, you'll be dead if you get into that car. I thought, oh, nonsense. So I had dinner, we had a charming dinner, and he was dead the following uh, Thursday afternoon in that car. It was one of those oh. odd things. 